Hey guys, Scooby Doobies here, and today I'm here to rank my own Scooby Dooby tier list. I mean, Scooby Doo tier list movies, not games, and not movie, and, and not shows, just movies. Anyways, well, not all movies were here though. Yeah, no, well, this not all movies were here. I just found this, and right now I'm done setting up, and now let's rank these Scooby Doo movies. Sco Scooby Doo Monster in Mexico. Well, Scooby Doo Monster in Mexico was a great movie. Scooby Doo Monster Mexico will go to um Mystery Solve List. If you guys don't know what Mystery Solve List, Mystery Solve List means the movie is good. Scooby Dooby Doo means the movie is one of the best Scooby Doo movies out there. And Scooby Snack means a silver gold medal. Scooby Doo movies. Zoix means yeah, yeah, it's good. And Rut Row is Scooby Doo's catchphrase. It means, oh no, it's not good. And Mystery Unsolved means the movie is bad. And Ron Scooby Snack means it's one of the worst Scooby Doo movies I've ever seen. Anyways, this movie is great. The monster's great. The villain reveal is great. So, yeah. I like to see more Scooby Doo content. I I miss what's new Scooby Doo animation, but due to but due to a lot, but but due to Matthew Little voice in Shaggy, well, everything changed. That doesn't matter. Scooby Doo Loch Ness Monster. This movie is awesome. Seeing Scooby and Shaggy go um chase scene is. Is awesome. These new characters were great. Eh. And Loch Ness Monster look so crap and realistic, even though it's a cartoon. I'm just gonna give this to the. I'm just gonna give this to the Scooby Snack, you know. Lips. The movie is great. I mean, it's awesome. Scooby Doo Aloha. Well, the monster is awesome. Seeing the gang going to Aloha is epic. Shaggy with sh seeing Shaggy has shorts other than pants is is a new change. And seeing Scooby win, and seeing Scooby win it is great. And defeating the the Wiki Tiki or something. I haven't watched this movie for a while, but I really do like it. It's a really good Scooby Doo movie. I'm just gonna put this in in the mystery solve list. Now, Scooby Doo was by mommy. This mo this is one of the second Scooby Doo movies I have saw. This is my second Scooby Doo movie I have ever saw in my life. Yep. This is the second one. Anyways. Anyways, um, so yeah. This movie is actually great. Seems good. Yeah. Yeah, the re but the reveal of Velma on um, being a spy is great. Seeing Velma as the reveal as Cleopatra is great. I was extremely shocked. I said, wait, Velma's a villain? What is going on? But it turns out she was a double agent. She was pretending to be the stone so she can catch the real villain. So, yeah. I actually thought Velma turned to stone, but she's not. 
but she's not. S Scooby Snack. This book is great. Scooby Doo the Pirate Boy or something. This Scooby Doo movie is. This Scooby Doo movie is absolutely amazing. This Scooby Doo movie really let. I, this Scooby Doo movie re, um shows me what pirates are and what pirates is. Seeing the ghost pirates are very creepy. Seeing the gang going to the um seeing the chase scene is pretty it's pretty fun. Seeing Shaggy and Scooby wearing a chicken costume together is is freaking hilarious because they both chickens, obviously. The running gag is everywhere. The whole Scooby doing Shaggy Chicken is running it's a running gag. As you all know. Anyways, this movie is great. Scooby Snack. And no. Actually, let's just put Scooby Dooby Doo. I really do like this Scooby Doo movie. Now, chill out, Scooby Doo. Well, this movie is almost all about Shaggy and Scooby. And I really like it. I really like it. The monster is huge. The monster. Yeah, you know, the Yeti or something. I haven't, I haven't watched this movie since like a few months ago. But now I really watch it. It's very amazing. I really like it. Now, I just gonna put it up here. Up next is Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. Well, this movie is actually good. Yeah, I thought the Goblin King is a villain, but it turns out the real villain is Kruxky. You know, when Shaggy and Scooby publicly humiliated him as payback. You know what, guys? In the beginning, that's a perfect payback. I mean, you know, Shaggy and Scooby ruined his his performance. That's a perfect payback. This is why you don't mess with Scooby. <laughs> That's what you forget for messing with Scooby. You get publicly humiliated in front of everyone, and your magic show is over. And to be honest, I don't blame Shaggy and Scooby for, for sabotaging the show. He kind of deserved it for being a jerk. Yeah, Shaggy's right. He's a make-believe magician. That's one of my favorite parts about the movie. And I cannot believe he's a villain. I thought he was just a one-time person who get- I thought he's a one-time person, but it turns out he's a villain. He wanted revenge on Shaggy and Scooby for ruining his life. Now people think he's a fraud, when he clearly is. But, for right now, after stealing the Goblin Scepter and, and used his power to show Shaggy and Scooby that he's the most powerful. However, he was unbeated by- by Scooby himself. Ha ha. And everything went back to the way it was. But seeing the gang transform into monsters is, you know. <laughs> I'm glad it would not, it would never happen. Anyways. This is my first Halloween, this is, this is the first movie I saw in Halloween. When I was a baby, this is the first Halloween movie I ever saw. Actually, no, 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 no. I wasn't a baby back then. It's a different time. It's a different time. So, yeah. I wasn't a baby back then, no. It's a complete opposite. Anyways, this is the first Scooby-Doo Halloween movie I've ever seen. Yeah, I wasn't born when this movie came out, no. No, it's a complete opposite. I'm 20 years old, no. Anyways, Scooby Doo and and Samurai Sword. This changes Daphne's character arc. The same thing as the original Scooby Doo movie. People were amazed about you know Daphne's character arc. You know, she's a karate. 
she knows kung fu and all that. The whole story is super original and so awesome. And seeing the and seeing these scoop, seeing these at Tokyo Scooby Snack. Oh my crap! And God, I wish I can eat those already. You know those at Tokyo Scooby Snacks. I forgot what they're called. Anyways, Scooby Snack. Oh, also seeing Scooby get the final blow is freaking awesome. Scooby just chopped that. Scooby just sliced that crap in half. You know the sword. <laughs> Man, I always keep rewatching that part. Scooby Doo Africa Dabba Doo. This is the bestest part. Madeline is one of my favorite um Shaggy's um is one of my favorite Shaggy's. You know, love entrance. I just go put it right here. So yeah, seeing magic comes to life, seeing all this comes to life, seeing the hypocrite being the main antagonist is great. And seeing it, it's like Harry Potter, but not real, ma but it's a magic school. I wish this school was real. Imagine if this school was real. I definitely would go there. It's... I, I really do like Madeline. She's one of the greatest characters. She's one of the greatest Shaggy love interests I've ever seen. Because this shows that love and bravery can, you know. Fear and bravery, you still can get love. Scooby Doo Camp Scare. Well, this goes to the Scooby Snacks. The Woodsmen, the Fishmen, it are both terrifying. This is one of the first. This is one of the most um, you know, nightmarish Scooby Doo movies I've ever seen. It is great. Even though Zombie Islands is, you know, which I'll be going to that later. There's a lot I want to talk about about Zombie Island. So. Anyway, Scooby-Doo and the Boo Brothers. This is the third Scooby-Doo movie I have watched in my life. Even though Scrappy-Doo was there, but I really do like this movie. And this is the first time that I saw Shaggy have a, have a, have a red shirt. And Googie, well, she's not exactly a great love interest of Shaggy. She, you know, she always keep kissing Shaggy and harassing Shaggy throughout the movie. With Shaggy's trying to get away from her. And to be sh and to be honest, I feel the same way that Shaggy felt. I mean, I don't like. I don't like being harassed like that. Crap, no. So yeah, Googie is not exactly my favorite. It's the relationship is kind of weird. Scooby Doo and the Fansaurus Rex. It goes to the top here. You all know why. This is how Oscar Instant Shaggy, you know, memes came along. Because of this movie, Oster Instant Shaggy would not have exist. Because it shows the scene when Shaggy beat up a um bikers one on one. That was a pretty awesome scene. And every time I saw that scene, I turned on, you know, Oster Instinct music. Oh my god, that's a that's a pretty awesome scene. It seems and now I realize that Shaggy I, I just realized in this movie that Shaggy is more terrifying than Scooby. You know, Shaggy is afraid of more things than Scooby has ever afraid. Well, there's a lot to talk about Shaggy in this movie because Shaggy is so far my... And this is why Shaggy is my, is my favorite characters out there. 
I, I, I used to thought Scooby is my favorite character, but I changed my mind after watching this movie. Now, Scooby Doo Music of the Vampire. Well, this movie is actually great. The villains, the vamp, I like the musicals, especially Scooby and me. I, when I first watched this movie, I, every time I watch this movie, I always keep singing um, Scooby and me, Scooby and me, we're gonna be together for good. Not by my, you know, I'm in doubt, me help you out. You know I would. If I got time, if you're out in jail and you need to bail, oh, friend can set you free. You always count on me. Just tell me where would I be? Well, you by my side, the friends that my guy, hop to the carrying through. People go by, I live or I die. They wouldn't care about you. You are the one who keeps me at ease. Give me love and take you, please. A moment of real talk, Scooby and me. Man, I really do like that song. Every time when that song comes on, I always keep singing along. This is what... It, it, this song really shows Shaggy's, how much Shaggy and Scooby love each other. Well, not like, like, not like, like, as friends. You know, this is the first time that Shaggy and Scooby... I mean, you know, I can't say it here because, you know, I might get backlash. Like, what happened to that, you know? Well, you you all know my last post about you know which which Scooby Doo relationship is better. I did got reasons comments that you know when I put Shaggy and Scooby in. Well, you guys are not you know so happy. You guys been calling me zoophilia, but I'm actually not. I'm not zoophilia. If you guys watch. A lot, a lot of these Scooby Doo movies or shows, you guys will, you guys will pick Scooby and Shaggy for sure. That's why I add them in the list. Their relationship is great. Anyways, let's just um put this up. Actually, I'm just gonna change it and put it up here. Scooby and me. Scooby and me. Big Top Scooby Doo. Well, I just like how, you know, seeing all the circus cats turn into werewolves or shocking. They're shocking. And I knew it that Double Day's a villain for the start. Because I said, how are these werewolves just command? Unless that they're animals or some other people, and I realized I was right from the start. Double Day is a villain when I first watched this. Like, and seeing the gang go to the circus is great. Okay. So this movie is one of my favorites out there. Yeah, I just like the cop. I just like the. I just like how the cops think that the other cop is his mother. Wow, that was a funny scene. Anyways, Scooby Doo the Blue Falcon. Well, this movie is great. I just like how. Yeah, even though this movie is not so like about most fans, it's because they think Blue Falcon is based on Batman, but it's not. 
is how about Barrett's superhero? But the part is missing is Dynamite. But the part is missing is Dynamite. Man, I like this. This Blue Falcon is better than the, the better than the school Blue Falcon, which I'll be explaining what, which I'll be explaining why. Scooby Doo and the Avengers. Um, I can't read it correctly. Anyways, never mind. Well, this movie is great. Uh, sort of. Yeah, it's sort of great. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Scooby Doo fans do not like this because it's about puppets. When Scooby Doo is about animation, my niece really do like this movie. She really do like this movie. She watched it a few times. She said this is one of the best. And I cannot agree. Yeah. I... And I cannot agree. And I kind of do agree, but I just go put it right here. Yeah, seeing the Phantom Bear is great. Naughty Bear is great. But... But I think Red Bear and the rest of the pirates were better other than this because it's only just one pirate instead of more. I like the chase scene. I like the, I, I like the ending credits. I like. But the part that you know. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it up here instead. I don't know how many times I'm gonna be changed this. Scooby Doo stage fright. This this shows Fred bravery. I like the relationship of Daphne and Fred. I really do. It shows how much Daphne loves Fred, and it shows Fred how much he loved he loves Daphne. This movie is great. It's because due to the relationships of Fred and Daphne. I should go put it up here. Almost one of my favorites. Scooby Doo Rest of Many a Mystery. Well, this movie is awesome. Yeah, I give it thumbs up on that. I really love seeing John Cena in the movie. Even though there's a um, even though there's a, you know, a sequel, which I'm kind of not so surprised about because they. Because you only make one, which I'll be explaining later. If it's on this list. If it's on this list. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's on the list. Scooby Doo Franken Creep. I just like seeing the old characters. You know, Mama Mio. And the rest of the old characters from the original Scooby Doo shows. It's really great seeing them as villains, as villains, and I, and I, I thought the Scooby Gang were actually dead, but it turns out they're still alive. They escaped. And it's so sad, and it's unsatisfied. And the part that I found unsatisfied is Belma turning into a maniac, which she was brainwashed. Which revealed that she was brainwashed by doing this. Because, for one, she's tried to kill Shaggy and Scooby by, by, by taking out the, by stealing their brains out. How insane is that? And on top of that, she released a monster to, to capture Scooby and Shaggy. That could have get them killed, to be honest. And I just like how Fred just accept da just accepted Daphne, even though she's fat. This is what makes Daphne and Fred. You see what I mean? Why I like these two movies? It shows how much Daphne and Fred love each other. Fred really loves Daphne, especially when she's fat and ridiculous. Anyways, even though Daphne's not too happy about it because she feels that Fred might hate her, but. But it turns out, Fred really do like her. I go put this on, you know, right here instead. I know. 
Scooby Doo's face. I can't see the title on greatly though. This movie is great. The alien look almost exactly like the movies. It looks crap and terrifying. It looks crap and terrifying, to be honest. And seeing the game go to space, and seeing Scooby's jacket hanging out in the moon is great. Including the chase scene. But the part it really shocked me that well, it's too much explaining, so. So I go put it up here. Yeah, the movie is great. I really do like it. Scooby Doo Kids is the next of all this. To be honest, I still love Daphne and Fred's relationship, but it kind of dies down when when they both have constant fights, and Fred being jealous because Fred being jealous for multiple occasions. I do like the Crimson Witch. She's she's awesome. I I thought the monsters were real, but for some reason it's fake in the end. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it right here. Yeah, I don't know. This movie is sort of great. Scooby Doo and the Girl School. This goes to the top here. This is the first Scooby Doo movies I have ever seen. The first Scooby Doo movies I have saw. It's one of my favorites. Well, not not a top favorite though. So I just go put it as my third favorite. It's great. The monsters were real. I really like the ghosts and. Wait, did I just say last time that this is my first time seeing Shaggy's shirt red? Oh yeah, this is the first time. This is actually the first time. I actually messed up. Anyways, never mind. The movie's great. I watched it a lot of times when I was a kid. Scooby -Doo, Lego Scooby-Doo Haunted Hollywood. I like this movie. I actually do. But... But the problem was, you know, the Legos. We already have a Lego crossover. We don't need another one. Wait, well, this, well, that's not a movie. That's a short. I really do like seeing Lego Scooby Doo coming back, come to life. It's one of the dreams. It's one of the dreams. Even though Velma was featured in, in the Lego movie too. But what's the rest of the game? Even though what even though sadly Wonder Brothers cannot make Lego movies anymore, which is so sad. Which is I'm so depressed after hearing the news that that you know that Lego isn't making isn't making um movies out of you know out of Wonder Brothers anymore. I wish I could see more. I. I want to see more of this. I I I wish this. I always wish there's a next one. It could be better than a than a sequel, which I'll be getting to that later. Scooby Doo Speed Demon. Well, I just go put it right here, guys. Honestly, do we need another one? Do we need another crafting sequel of of uh of you know of WWE? Why would you make cars and why would you make them put cars and stuff? Why? Why does this look similar to the monster trucks? This is a WWE movie and you're telling me that and you're telling me you just put cars there? We don't need another one. We don't need another Scooby Doo um WWE movie. Just choose one. Simple as that. I really do like I like seeing um the Undertaker come into life too. I would I always wish that he was in the first movie, but here I'm excited. But seeing this, wow. This could have been the original WWE movie, other than this. And what the hell is Mr. McMahon doing there? He's supposed to be in the arena, not in the crapping, not not in the crapping, you know. 
uh, a, ra a race car driving stuff. If you want to make a crossover with monster trucks, go ahead. Go ahead and make a monster trucks um um crossover. Not the second one. I do like it a little bit, but I found it a bit boring because we always seen this. We always seen this. I get it WWE is popular, but still, do we need another one? No, we don't. We actually don't. And I, it is good to get another one, but we don't actually need another one though. Sco Shaggy Sh Shaggy Showdown's coming up next. Wow, I really do like this movie. Shaggy is great. Shaggy is absolutely awesome. I just like the. I really like this a villain who looks like Shaggy for the ghost version. And I really like the you know the twist about about Blackjack is actually good. And and all of it, you know, about Blackjack being a you know a outlaw is great. Seeing the huge twist about it, it's great. Everything's great about this movie. I really do like it. And seeing the Scooby Gang going to Wild West is great. I really like it. I like every single second of it. And the villain is actually awesome. Shoot, so him, him holding guns, shooting fire. Wow, awesome. Looking, ex a villain looks exactly like Shaggy. Wow. I just like the interest when the gang just goes there. It. Scooby and Shaggy were excited, however, the town doesn't look too happy to see Shaggy because they thought he was a villain for the start, but he's not. Revealing that Shaggy was innocent, but I also found it funny the fact how they how they see Scooby as a horse. You kidding me? Scooby is not a horse. He's a he's a dog. Open your crappy eyes. <laughs> it's sorry guys, it's so funny. The fact how they make, the fact how they make Scooby look look like a horse is dumb. Anyways, sorry, so, I'm sorry. Scooby Doo Blowout Beach Bango Bash. Well, the movie is great, but it didn't do too well. It didn't do too well. I thought it was gonna be better because it. It's gonna be like pirates, and they're making their own, and they're making their own monsters. I'm glad we seen the good pirate alongside, but still, I don't know. Is it going to miss we saw? I guess it can come here though. Yeah. No. Yeah, it goes to next to Scooby Doo Kids. I I like the song Scooby Doo. Scooby don't, Scooby don't. Yeah, I do like that chase scene in that music. That's the part I do like. But seeing seeing a game going back to be Lego is great. But again, it's it's. I wish there's one more, but it could be better than than these two movies. Than than these two movies. I wish it could be better, but it's too late. Lego left Warner Brothers, which is sad. Anyways, it's not too much to explain. Imagine if there's a video game. Oh, wait a second. There is. And it's Lego Dimensions. Which is the last time I'll be seeing them. Scooby-Doo Batman Behold. I really do like the movie. Seeing the gang sit on um, going to Gotham. Seeing all the the red ghost is scenes and that ghost, the red monster, whatever, it's great. Seeing the Scooby Doo gang dressed as Justice, um, being the lead force of Justice League is great. Wow, I really, I really am happy for the Scooby gang 
the fact how they got promoted to the Justice League in the beginning. Now let's go to here. Well, this movie is sort of great, but not too, but it's not really my favorite. Ah, uh, Scooby, Scooby Doo Curse of the Thirteen Go. You crapping me? Ugh. We don't need. I I used to to be honest, guys. I used to be excited for this movie, but right now. Nah, well, well, but when I watch it, I was disappointed because the fact how they make the monsters fake again. Come on, this is a crapping sequel. This is a crapping sequel. How come you can make a sequel with monsters fake? This is contradicting the whole, the the whole plot. The whole plot is about catching the last thirteen ghosts, and Fred and and Fred and Velma is gonna be there. The ghosts look real, shooting fire and all that, but no. But no. They never catch the ghosts. The plot makes no sense. The plot makes no sense. So yeah. And plus, do we, like I said, we don't need another another movie. But well, the movie is sort of good, but not too good. But not too good. I'm just gonna put it right here. The movie is great, but not too great. I think this is I think this is worse than this one. It's Scooby Doo Return to the Zombie Island. Oh my crap and God, do we need another one? Like I mentioned before, we don't need another one! <sighs> we always seen it. I get it, Scooby Doo the Zombie Island is the best Scooby Doo movie, but why do we need another one? No one asks for it. And plus, once again, the monsters are fake, not real. You are contradicting the. 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 The sequel, the the sequel that you're supposed to do. If okay, if you guys want to make a a a future Scooby Doo show or movie, a sequel, make the monsters real and continue on, not not make the monsters fake and make it as your own. It's like seeing, it's like going. I like seeing the flashbacks though, but the rest. It isn't that great, no. I like seeing the game going back to solving mysteries, yes, but at the same time, oh my god, can this movie get any better? It's the same exact thing like these two. We don't need another one. We don't need another one. We don't need another one. Why would you choose Zombie Island? If you want to make your own um, Scooby-Doo Scooby -Doo sequel, Choose the part that you guys made up. Choose the part that you guys made up. But not WWE. That's a crossover. That does not work. That does not work. Because that's a crossover and you only choose one. Cartoon characters. You can do whatever you want. They were made by Warner Brothers. But, but celebrities and other shows. But other shows were not Warner Brothers. You can't do both. You can't do both. Pick one direction. Pick one direction. Do you want to... Do you want... Okay, I want to say this. Pick one direction. Do you want to make another sequel about... Uh, do you want to make a... Do you want to make another sequel? Or not? It, they make the monsters real. But if you don't want to make another sequel, not fake. If you don't want to make another sequel, then just, you know, they just don't do it. You can't do both. It makes the whole sequel dumb, just like these two. They were contradicting the things that they were, that, that not only they made up, but again, 
This cross field is about cause, which is nothing like what the si the the sequel plot they were supposed to do. And this is about and this is about real ghosts, and they're gonna catch one more. But no, the monsters are fake. It makes no sense. And this we don't need another one. They defeated the cat creatures and all the zombies are rest in peace. When I first heard this, I said, wait, why is there another one? Why is there another one? Do we already have one? I mean, the cat creatures are defeated. Why do we need another one? But when I watched it, I was extremely disappointed. They're doing the same exact thing. What they did here. They doing the same exact thing what they did here. Like, are you crapping me? We don't need another one. Anyways, moving on. I'm just so frustrated with this movie. Anyways, happy Halloween, Scooby Doo. The movie is awesome. Yeah, this is the. Yeah, this is one. This is, I think the Goblin King is better than this one, yeah. It shows, but this one, it shows size that Scooby and Shaggy favorite, um, I like seeing, you know, Scarecrow in the movie. I thought Scarecrow was the main antagonist, but it turns out, yes, he's the antagonist for the beginning. But he decides, I like his redemption when he helps the gang to defeat the jack o -lanterns. That's a great condition, but in the same time, though, he's a villain, not a hero. But the movie is awesome. I like the jack lanterns They look real and terrifying. I mean, seeing the gang team up with a villain is very rare. It's the rarest thing I've ever seen. I mean, they just fight the skill. They, they just fight Batman villains before. Anyways, Sword of Do, I guess. This movie is great. I actually thought they were back in time, but it turns out they aren't. The movie is great. I really do like it. Right here. The villain is awesome. The villain is awesome. The whole plot is great. But I like the fact... I also like the fact how Shaggy is the chosen one, even though it's all fake. I really like how Shaggy was chosen, you know, to, to, you know, to run the town, but Shaggy refuses. But Shaggy refuses. Scooby Doo Reluctant Werewolf. The monsters were real. Yes. The movie is great. But, again, but, Dracula is hilarious. Dracula absolutely deserved it for, for turning Shaggy into a werewolf. For one, choosing Shaggy to become a werewolf. Anyways, now let's go. Uh, moving on. There's too much reasons. Anyways. The movie goes on this low on this list. Scooby-Doo Courage the Cowardly Dog. Well, guys, here's the whole story. Well, when I first heard of this new Scooby-Doo um, crossover, Scooby-Doo Courage the Cowardly Dog, I was really excited. But... It was cancelled for some reason. Right now, they made it, and it's great. But the one only thing I despise about a bit is the rap song. I do like the Out of Nowhere song, but... No, I... But at the same time, this is the best... I really like this crossover. This is the best I've been waiting for. But it's not a great movie, though, but... Hey! But hell, it's great. Now Scoob. Well, Scoob, it's a great movie. My niece been my niece been watching this movie multiple times because she just like how the monsters on how how the antagonist is not fake. 
I kind of do agree. But the problem about this movie is Brian and how they I the way they the way they did to Shaggy. The casting choice is great, but but Shaggy but the but the guy voice as Shaggy, well, it's not accurate though. And, 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 you know, and Zach, the guy who voices Fred, he sounds like original teenager. And they broke the Scooby-Doo canon. I mean, and they broke the Scooby-Doo formula. Making a gang age up to, to their 20s. When in the Scooby-Doo formula, they had to be teenagers. And on top of that, they, they added Simon Cowell at, as the businessman. And they made him a jerk. To the very start, and they may and they may a ver- and they may Shaggy and Scooby both stupid, in the very start, saying that friendships do not save the day. That Scooby and Shaggy both think they're ri- that he is right, when in reality it's not. Simon Cowell is just saying that because they do not count because he doesn't want to include Scooby and Shaggy. Anyways. Moving on. The movie is great, but the part that I have a problem with is the new characters. And guys, remember Dee Dee? That's an adding character. They didn't make that character up. Dee Dee is a character from, you know, Captain Caveman, one of the angels. Yeah, they you they take that character and change it into a badass character. And where the hell is, speaking of Captain Caveman, where the hell is he? He was only featured in a in a in a prehistoric war. I I watched the deleted scene. He's supposed to fight Cerberus. However, however, for some reason, they they don't add that scene. Also, speaking of Captain Caveman. The voice actor who voices him is not accurate. He sounds like an old man. Anyways, be right back.
anyways, well, yeah, Scoob, uh, yeah, anyways, yeah, I just like how, uh, I, anyways, continue, moving on. Captain Caveman, well, Captain Caveman is a great, you know, character in this movie, but the problem is, he was isolated and absent in the final battle. He was absent in the final battle when he's supposed to be there. Or, it's prob or they probably did this because they, because they want to make cameo. I want all the Scooby Doobies. I want all the Scooby Doobies, you know, from the show. I forgot what it's called and I haven't watched for a while. Anyways, the part that I really do hate is Brian. Brian's one of the worst characters out there in this movie. I can say I can say this because he is the main problem. I prefer the original Blue Falcon. I prefer the original Blue Falcon other than him. For start, why why would they add a a character and just and just may have been excused by saying that he quit? Anyways, Brian. Brian's one of the worst characters. I like the original better. Brian, well, he's not exactly good. People call him Fake Falcon because, for starters, I wish he wasn't in the movie at all. At all. Because when I heard about Blue Falcon being in the movie, I was so excited. Yes. And when I first saw the trailer, I was I, when I first saw the second trailer, I was confused. I said, wait, why do he sound much younger? Is he supposed to be an adult? Is he, is he supposed to be an adult? Anyways, let's continue on with the problem bit on him. He he gave Scooby a suit all because um all because Dastardly says Scooby is a key. It's great to see Scooby wear a suit, but where's Shaggy? Shaggy deserves better. Shaggy has been isolate has been isolated and ignored throughout the middle of the movie. Poor Shaggy. He's been ignored and absent. Shaggy deserves better. He did give Shaggy a, you know, a, a prize basket, yes. But that isn't enough. That isn't enough. They treat Scooby like he's a god. And they treat Shaggy like he's, like he's nothing. All because Scooby's the key. All because Scooby's the key. He's after Shaggy. I mean, you all saw at the end that Shaggy sacrificed himself. Wow. So he did that for nothing. Poor Shaggy. It makes me feel bad throughout. It makes me feel bad to it for him throughout the movie. Shaggy does not deserve to be isolated in all this. Justice for him. Shaggy, you deserve better. Poor Shaggy. Poor, poor Shaggy. Anyways. Moving on. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't give he didn't give Shaggy a suit. He didn't he didn't treat Shaggy with he did treat Shaggy with respect, but he did but nobody, I mean nobody, especially Dynamot and Didi does not care about Shaggy. They just throw him off the road for nothing. Which makes Shaggy jealous. Which makes Shaggy jealous and furious. That's why the, which makes Shaggy had a. No wonder why everyone feel bad for Shaggy throughout this movie. It's because the fact how they keep isolating him, like it's nothing. Shaggy is my favorite character, and this is what you do. You treat him with, you, you treat him with dis, you treat Scooby with respect, but not Shaggy. So yeah, the Falcon Four. Yeah, the way what the way that Brian treated Shaggy is is terribly. Not only that, because of him not taking Shaggy with him and just take Scooby, and just take Scooby instead. 
he could have convinced with remember the remember the scene that Shaggy um went on the Falcon plane and he refused to go and he and he refused to go. He could have convinced Shaggy to come because you already saw that Dastardly dressed up as Fred tricking Shaggy by taking the moose sc skull and capturing Scooby. None of this would not have happened if he would have took Shaggy with him or convinced him to come. But no, they left him there in the dirt with nothing. Basically nothing. Why? Because Scooby's a king. He's not the Shaggy! True, Scooby's important, yes, but why would you isolate Shaggy like that? Because of this, they both have an argument. An argument. You need to save Shaggy too. What if he kidnaps Shaggy and threatens him? What if he kidnaps Shaggy and threatens Scooby to and threaten them, saying that he'll kill Shaggy if he don't get him Scooby? And guess who falls that? Anyways, I mean the play, the I mean the argument scene is one of the worst scenes. I cannot believe they left Shaggy like that. Because of it's not Shaggy's fault. It's Brian's fault for being such an idiot. For being such a for for being such an idiot. I mean, Velma does have a point. What, what kind of superhero blames people for his problems? What a bitch. Anyways, that's all I have to say for Brian. Brian is one of the worst characters in my opinion. I thought I, I thought I liked this guy, but it turns out I don't. Shaggy is the chosen one along with Scooby. They could have took Shaggy with him. Silverus wouldn't be released. And Ma and Dastardly would not get everything he wanted. And Dastardly would not get everything he wanted. Anyways, everything from the movie and everything from Scoob is great. My favorite scene is the fact how My favorite scene is, you know, it's the it's the Scooby and Shaggy were kids. It says it's an origin story about Scooby and Shaggy, yes. But what about the rest of the gang? That's what I wanna know. But in the same time, I hope there's a future project. Which there is, but it's been cancelled for some reason. Since my niece do like it so much, I like it. And since my niece was happy, I'm happy. So I'm just going to put in this list. I will put in the Zoics list, but I just put in this list. Because when my niece is happy, I'm happy. When my niece likes things, I like it. It used to be... This is one of my favorite Scooby-Doo movie in 2020. In 2020 so far. It, it meant to go on theaters. I would take my niece to see that, but never mind, because due to COVID-19. Due to COVID-19, this movie is bad, because it's not a theaters. You have to watch it at home, which had least views. Because of this, it has least views. It could have been on theaters, to be honest. Or they could have changed the release date like the other movies. But they didn't. They just put it on homes. Which is very disappointing. But at the same time, I, I really do like this movie. The whole Brian scenes, you know, the way he... You know, the whole thing about Shaggy being isolated and all that is one of the worst scenes in this movie. That's the one of the problems I had. And Brian's the worst part throughout these scenes. The way they treat Scooby as gun, the way they treat Shaggy as dirt. Anyways, if you guys, some people still hate this movie, but in the same time, I like it. Anyways, if you guys hate this movie, that's that's going to be okay. Anyways, now let's go to live action movies. Well, I might get a lot of hate for this. But it's my opinion, not yours. Okay, Scooby-Doo. Well, it goes to the rut roll scene. I do like this movie. I really do. but. It's not my favorite, though. 
but shockingly, it's not my favorite. First of all, the way they... First of all... Well, and if you guys want to know what's worse, though... Imagine if the radar cut, if they kept the radar cut, the movie could be a lot worse, and I'm going to put it in the bottom of this list, but I didn't. Now, Scooby the Two Monster Leash. This is a great sequel, in my opinion. I like seeing the, the classic monsters come into life. I'll put it alongside the scene. Scooby-Doo Mystery Begins. This is the best Scooby-Doo um, live-action movies I've ever seen. But the problem is about this is the fact how, you know, speaking of Scooby-Doo um, Mystery Begins, let's just go to... Anyways, let's go to Scooby Doo Mystery Begins. And there's one only problem about this movie, which is kind of low, which is in my is in my Zoids list. It was almost here, but right now I put it down here. It's because It's because of, you know, there's one only problem. Let's go. They break the Scooby-Doo, um, because for one, they broke the Scooby-Doo, um, backstory. Ignoring, ignoring, you know, Scooby-Doo, um, the pup named Scooby-Doo. They ignore that, but Scoob did it right. They made the they made the characters met in the same age instead of the youngest scene. If they wanted to be best friends, then just make them, you know, younger. The CGI for Scooby is sort of laughable, but I really do like it. But at the same time, it looks cartoonish, and I like it. Anyways, no. But this is the one only problem I have for this movie. Here it is. Yep, they just revealed the the villain in here. Why would you do that? It, the entire movie is great. The whole thing about everyone thought Pittsburgh Grimes is a bad guy is great. Everything's great. The villain reveal is great, but it's ruined by people who didn't watch this movie. Who didn't watch this movie. It ruins people who didn't watch this movie. It makes the villain reveal not not so surprising. Not so surprising. Because because they revealed the villain here. I'm so pissed off. Why would they do this? It makes people not so surprised in this movie. That's what makes the movie so low. It's because so low to people. It's because of this. Why? You're all supposed to do this to Scooby-Doo in nine of these movies. You're not supposed to show who the real villain are, who the real villain is. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful and it's not, and the villain's, and it makes you too dumb. Anyways, Scooby-Doo Curse of the Lake Monster. I do like the rap scene, everything is great, but it's ruined. Let's go to Unsolved Mystery. Well, it's my least Scooby-Doo favorite. You really thought this movie is worse? Just you wait. You really thought this movie is bad? Well, it's not, well, the movie is awful a bit. They carry relationships while torn it down a bit. They've been isolating Scooby. They've been ignoring Scooby. 
isolating Scooby and focus on relationships instead of the same plot. They push Velma and, and Shaggy's relationship and Velma and Daphne's relationship. Scooby Doo all Mystery Incorporated did it well, but here they don't. They all break up in the end, which makes the whole plot, um, you know, not make sense. It makes the whole title not make sense because Scooby has been absent. This whole thing is about relationships and drama. That's why the there could have been a third film. There could have been a third film. If they wouldn't, they, all they had to do is focus on a mystery, not relationships or drama, because it makes the whole thing not make sense. Focus on the witch. Focus on the monster. Not he, not relationships. This is not what Scooby Doo's about. This is not what Scooby Doo's about. That's, yeah. I really do like Shaggy and Velma relationship. However, all that's ruined when they all, when they all broke up at the end and become friends. Same cannot be said to Daphne and Fred. They ruined Daphne and Fred relationship. Barely. They made them date for the start. Make a, make them date. You know what I'd rather do for this movie? Keep the entire plot, but just make them date. Just make them be together in the movie. And ma and when I make another one, make them broke up and become friends. That's how it works. But here, it's extremely pointless. For this. That's, this is what makes the movie... Some say this is one of the worst. But you really thought this movie is bad? Well, guess what? Here's the worst part. Daphne and Velma. Daphne and Velma is one of the worst Scooby Doo. It's one of the worst Scooby Doo live action movies. They disrespect the Scooby Doo's formula. They cut out Scooby. They cut out uh, Shaggy and Fred. They cut out Shaggy and Fred and just put and they and they just put Velma and Daphne. The villain reveal is not great. It's not great. It's too obvious and it ha it's way too obvious. The jokes are funny. They've been pushing jokes way too much. They've been pushing jokes way too much. Daphne's family is weird as hell. And the CGI and the and the and the scene when they were all when they all looking in the dark is laughable and horrifying. I like the Scooby Doo mystery begins one better. <laughs> anyways, anyways, moving on. The part I am confused of what is robots? What is robots and science and all this doing here? What is all this doing here? Is this the future? But no, there's no mention of that. There's no detention. Ah, uh, be right back. Anyways, this is lazy, 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 lazy. Extremely lazy. All this was lazy. They cut out they cut out Scooby Doo, Shaggy, and Fred. Which makes the movies worse because Scooby is the most important person in the in these movies and shows. Scooby Doo is most important. This is what makes the whole franchise good is because one, you need a mascot. You need the teenage. You need all the teenagers. But two teenagers isn't enough. You need more. That's why Fred and De 
That's why Fred Shaggy was there, but Fred Daphne isn't enough. They would have died in this mission, to be honest. Anyways. Anyways, moving on. This is one, I used to have no opinion on this movie, but right now, I dislike it. It's one of the worst Scooby-Doo movies I've ever seen. Anyways, Scooby-Doo, this one, you know the lamp? Well, I'm just going to put it right here. Yeah, this whole thing don't make sense. Shaggy is dressed up as a princess, telling stories, and all this. So yeah, this whole plot makes no sense. And Shaggy is Scooby running away from the from a bad guy or something. I don't know. Oh shit! I forgot. The two live action movies. Dang it! I forgot to I forgot to explain. This one is great, but it's not so great because because they ruined the Scooby Doo canon. They they age up the characters like it's nothing. I like this is better than the first one because I like seeing the live. I I like seeing um I like seeing you know the old character the old classic Scooby Doo characters come into life. Hunting the town, even though it scares me as a kid, but still. And guys, what if I told you they tried to make every single Scooby Doo movies? Uh, what if, what if I told you they tried to make every Scooby Doo classic characters, I mean villains, to be in the movie and become real? You name it. Ten thousand boat goes. What's the other one? Oh right, um, Headless Horseman, the witch, the the witch, you know, even much more creepier, the ghost clown, which creeps out pe which is quite clear it's gonna creep, it's gonna creep out people. And many more classic Scooby-Doo monsters. There's many more classic Scooby-Doo monsters as you name it. They're going to be in the movie, but they, but they cut all of them out. They cut them out because they're too scary for kids. And it's weird. Not only is it too scary for kids. Oh, also the chicken stein. He's one of the best and terrifying parts, to be honest. Also, the Mind 49 er isn't supposed to be a ghost in the movie. Remember the, the Mind 49 er He wasn't supposed to be a ghost. He's supposed to look like a normal person. He's supposed to wear all blue just like in the just like in the show. But they some reason look like him and the him as a ghost. Which makes fans um which makes fans pe do, does not watch this movie or me does not know this character. Like I do. Because when I first watched this, I said, wait, who, who the hell is this? A pirate or, or... Who is this? Until I realized, oh. 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 That's the minor 49er. But why are they make him as a ghost? That's the problem. That's the main problem about this movie. Well, there's both both things I need to talk about between these two movies. Anyways, Scooby Doo and the Zombie Island. And you guys know what obvious was obvious is gonna be on um, in this list. Yep, the top. I'm just gonna put the top here. This is one of the bestest Scooby Doo movies I've ever seen. This movie is the goat. The goat. It goes on top. It goes on top. Scooby Doo: The Zombie Island is one of the is is dubbed the best Scooby Doo movies out there. The Terror Time Again song is great. The chase scene, the zombies, the huge twist is awesome. Everything is great. They broke the Scooby Doo canon a bit, but still amazing. Everything I love in this movie. Now, as for the witches, now let's talk. Now let's go. Witches' ghosts. It's great. 
is great. It's my third favorite. It's my third favorite. It's my third favorite in the movie. In the movie. I mean, my fourth favorite. You know what? And guys, you want me to tell you something? Remember that green ghost? You know, I forgot what call. You know, remember that green witch ghost? Was unmasked and Thor, Thor's you know Thor's dad is supposed to be a villain. However, it's supposed to be a main villain. However, when they watched Zombie Island, they wanted to make the monsters real, so they want Scooby Doo content. So yeah, they add Sarah Ravenclaw as a villain. They add Ben Ravenclaw as a villain, which I really do like. Now, Aliens Invaders. The twist of the the twist of you know Crystal being a villain is great. Yeah, it's absolutely great. The twist of Crystal and and her dog being a being aliens, real aliens are great. The aliens were creepy enough. It's like it's like they look like E.T. You know, when they point at you and say, Ooh, yeah. They look they look extremely creepy. And remember that middle of the chase scene, Scooby Do We Do Well You, the opening? I was doing the same thing, you know. Anyways, Scooby Dooby Doo, what about you? Yeah, I love that scene. I really love this movie. Scooby Doo and the Cypher Chase. Man. Man. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Scooby Doo Cypher Chase is one of the great mo is one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. I have ever seen. Well, so, Scooby Doo Zombie Island and Scooby Doo Witches Ghost is still the best, but the one who carries the the entire um movie, the one that carries the entire movie is is you know, <laughs> is the Phantom Virus. He hold, he he taunted the gang. He taunted the gang, bringing back the old monsters and turn them into real. His defeat is satisfying. His life is satisfying. He's a great villain to the start. I really love to... I want to see him again in, in normal Scooby-Doo projects, to be honest. The Phantom, the Phantom Virus is the best part throughout this movie. Now, let's go to Scooby-Doo. Legend of Vampire. The Yowie Yahoo! This scares me as a kid. This book, the Yahoo Yahoo scares me as a kid. Barely. Scare me as a kid. Honestly, I and this is the first time I saw the Hex Girls. The Hex Girls are ve are very good. Oh, speaking of the head schools, the head schools is one of the best allies in Scooby Doo, in my opinion. But it's but it's painful to see them being captured. But the part that's painful though is be, is the fact they've been captured. That they've been captured. So yeah, that yeah, the head schools are the best part. And, but no, they were captured, which it really it really pains me that because they deserve the hex girls deserve better. We haven't seen the hex girls since year 
since, you know, Scooby-Doo, you know, it's, man, there's so many Scooby-Doo shows that I, that, to count. I, I better make a list. I need to make a list. Anyways, that's it for my ranking from Scooby-Doo movies to, yeah, but not all Scooby-Doo movies, though. Because the only ones we're missing is 2022 and 2000 and this year. Those were the those were the only ones we're missing. Anyways, that does not matter. This is this is my list. I'll be talking about more about these live action Scooby Doo movies. There's a lot to talk about about these movies. There's a lot. I mean, a lot to talk about these movies. So I'll be making another video about this. Some of these live, some of these Scooby Doo live action movies may not be good, but in the same time, it's great. True, I do have the anger pop. I, yeah, but the worst animated movie. It, okay, the Golden Medal to, to the greatest movie is Scooby. As you all know, Scooby Doo the Zombie Island. Island. The the silver medal goes to the silver medal. In the other hand, goes to Scoop. Go to um. Go to Scooby Doo. Wait, where is it? Where is it now? Oh yeah, Scooby Doo music of the vampire. I really love the musicals. The musicals is great, and Sco and Scooby and Me song is the best part. The bronze medal goes to, goes to, I will say Scoob, but again, due to my niece's opinion and how much she's happy, I would not be, it would not be in place because I just talked about what's the problem. The main problem is throughout the movie. So yeah, crap that. Anyways. The Golden Bronze is goes to Scooby Doo WWE. That's right. This movie's the best. Fourth place goes to Fourth place goes to Scooby Doo Mystery Begins. It's not the best. It, it's not the. It's one of the best out there, but not. But not the best of all these, you know, animation Scooby Doo. This is the best Scooby Doo live action movies I've ever seen. They did it great, but the problem is they they show the villain reveal, which that's the main problem. That's the main problem throughout the movie, and there's multiple problems about this. Movie. Yeah, and there's many more reasons why it's low on this list. However. The fifth place goes to Scooby Doo Return to Zombie Island. Seriously, do we need another sequel? No, the hell we don't. No, the hell we don't. The sixth place goes to, you know, Scooby Doo Cat. Scooby Doo Curse of the Lake Monsters. They've been focused on romance, and at the ending, it's a, at, at the ending when they all become friends, is the most pointless part. The monsters looks great. The monster look great. The the reveal of that of them being possessed is great too. But yeah. Now last place of the most trashy. Now the rotten Scooby snack goes to Velma and Daphne. Velma and Daphne movie is one of the worst Scooby Doo movies I've ever seen, and and worst Scooby Doo live actions too. It's because I I'll be explore I'll be explaining more about it why this movie is the worst. I thought the Velma series is, but when the Velma series cut uh, was on, oh my crap and god. Anyways. 
Never mind. We be not talking about the shows. Anyways, that's it for my list, and that's it for my ranking. So, sorry this video is long. It's just, you know, there's so much Scooby-Doo movies out there. I'm glad they didn't continue the, of, Daphne, of Daphne and Velma. Otherwise, I'll be pissed off, because they don't deserve a sequel. Anyways, bye guys. Scooby out. Soon, I'm, I'm about to be making videos about this.